In this video, we are going to talk about how to use the Scipion in the cloud service. CryoEM stands for Electron Microscopy under Cryogenic Conditions and is one of the structural biology techniques at the core of the Instruct project and one of the most promising. On the diagram, you can see a typical single particle analysis workflow composed of many steps that start with the movies acquired at the microscope and finishes with the reconstruction 3D map. The Scipion framework is a plugin based desktop application developed within the Instruct project. It allows users to easily combine most of the existing methods in EM, which are developed by other research groups by providing a consistent data model and workflow management capabilities. By offering this service, we aim to provide Instruct users with the possibility of having a ready to use server to process their data without having to bother with installation and setup. This includes plugins and EM packages installation, GPU setup and a powerful remote desktop that allows 3D rendering. Soon users will have the possibility to manually upload their data and existing project. Also to optimize the use of cloud resources instead of a single powerful node, an elastic clusters will be transparently handled. The way we expect the service to be used is as follows. An Instruct user goes to a microscope facility where she obtains a collection of movies which is already preprocessed in the facility using Scipion. She will live with her own data and Scipion project, and by registering to the CryoEM Instructeric EU virtual organization, she can easily deploy a node or cluster soon, where she can copy data and project and keep processing. She will access the node from her web browser using NoVNC. The node will be available for a limited period of time. The service integrates several EOS core services, such as CGI check-in for authentication, the Infrastructure Manager for Cloud Deployment and Configuration, and EOSC Cloud Resources. Soon, Infrastructure Manager will be replaced by EC3 for Elastic Cluster Deployment. Infrastructure Manager recipes can be used to deploy our training machines in AWS for recipient courses. Also, recipes can also be reused and customized to install and configure same setup on local servers and clusters. And finally, sometimes it's useful to show a complete SDPM project to some of the users. A simple server can be set up to show finishes work for this purpose. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the SDPM in the cloud service. You should go to the Infrastructure Manager portal and log in using EGI check-in. EGI check-in allows to log in using many identity providers, but as Instruct users, we suggest to use ARIA, developed by the Instruct project. The Infrastructure Manager dashboard has wizards to deploy many applications, among them the SCPN service. In this first version, you only need to provide a descriptive name and a password to access the remote desktop. Also, you have to select your virtual organization, EOS Synergy for the demo, but soon CryEM Instruct Eric U for the Instruct users. Also, the cloud provider and the image, which must be the one with Ubuntu 18 for GPU.
Once the submission is done, you will see the status of the deployment from pending to running and finally configured. If you want to see more in detail what is happening, you can go to the Infrastructure Manager web link found on the external links menu, log in and check the status of the infrastructure. That portal allows to see a log of the whole deployment, but in any case, this should be transparent to the user. Take into account that the whole process might take a while, since the host machine has to be spawned and configured in order to run the Docker container that includes the Stipion software. Once the status is configured, the user can get the connection URL from the outputs. Then she can connect to the remote desktop, providing the chosen password and use it as if it was a local machine. STPON can be launched from the desktop and plugins and packages installed. In this case, many plugins are already pre-installed, but software packages need to be installed using the Plugin Manager. Then, user can either start a new project or upload an existing one and continue processing as shown in the video. In this case, we are downloading a project from a web server to show a real case. This is a complete SCP on project with many steps already run. But you can see how the user can run another step. In this case, a method that, that requires GPU
with no further configuration. In this case, the jobs are running in the machine, but in the future they will run on a cluster. Also, you can see how 3D maps can be rendered smoothly using OpenGL acceleration. Users can disconnect from the remote desktop and leave their processes running since machine or cluster will be fully allocated to, for her using during a fixed period of time. As you have seen, the SCPM in the cloud service allows easy deployment of a cluster to process CryAM data. It integrates several mature EOS core services such as CGI check-in and IAM and soon EC3. Instruct users can benefit by joining CryAM Instruct Eric EU virtual organization. And also, work done can be used to improve other tasks such as training setup or on-premises configuration. Thank you for your attention. Bye.